We've been playing pretty well, but now it's time to really test ourselves when we take on the League Leaders Rangers. Welcome back, guys. Star Scotland 98 FIFA 23 career mode. We're playing as Hearts. Three games into the second season, and it's been a mixed bag so far in terms of results. One win, one draw, and one defeat. But if you actually take the performances out of those games, I think we've deserved to win all three. I think we should be sitting on nine points. But the story, the moral, the facts are we ain't. We're sitting on four points. Our opponents today, Rangers, are sitting on nine points. Whether they've played good, whether they've played shite, or whether they've heard this phrase multiple times, penalty to Rangers, it doesn't matter because they've got nine points. They've got three wins for three. They've got what we want. Not only do they have the 100% record, but they're top of the table. And they are where we inspire to be. So hopefully we can slow that pace down for Angels. Hopefully we can close the gap down with a win. If we win it, we're two points behind them and it's league on. If we lose it, we're eight points behind them after four games. And that just seems insane. Eight points after... F and we've played well, yet we could somehow be... Eight points behind Rangers after four games. I don't even want to think about that. But there is other things to think about other than the potential fact or opportunity or possibility of us losing to Rangers. We have got the transfer window. It's wide open and we're waiting for players to come in. But nobody is jumping through that window. The transfer window is open, but everybody is staying outside. Hopefully that will change this episode. I've been scouting a few players I'm not going to rush into something. I'm not going to just sign somebody for the sake of signing them. But one player I do want to bring back to the club, one player I want to give another chance is Stephen Humphreys. Obviously, in season one, he was with the club on loan. Now, he did get some game time, and I thought he was okay. But unfortunately, Wigan recalled him. They wanted him to be a regular starter. I wasn't giving him that sort of playing time. So they recalled him. However, he seems out of favour at Wigan. He's not really playing. And it looks like they would be open to potentially selling him on a permanent deal. So that's what we're going to try and do after the game today. I'm going to maybe look to bring in Stephen Humphreys. I don't want to spend too much money. But I would probably be willing to pay up to around a million. If we can make that happen, then I will happily bring Stephen Humphreys back to the club. Give him another chance to prove himself. If not then who knows, we'll, we'll look for other players. I don't necessarily think we need a striker, but I did like Stephen Humphreys, and I wanted to bring him back to the club. I think he, he's he got potential, I think, to be our number one. I think he is good, but we'll have to wait and see what happens if he is a realistic option with the transfer fees and values. But it has been a pretty wind, quiet window so far. Not a lot has been happening. Obviously, Morelos left Rangers at the start of the window, but since then, it's been pretty quiet in Scotland, so who knows? We'll sit back, we'll keep an eye on the activity, but when we get the right player, when there's somebody there for us to sign, we will pounce on them, and we will welcome them and hug them and drag them to Tain Castle and get them to sign a contract. But the only thing I want to be dragging is 11 jambles over the line for three points in this game here at Ibrox in Glasgow against Rangers. And with that said, it is now time to get in to the game. Here we go then. The respective players are leading out the clubs here. And it looks like Tavernier's missing today's game. I don't know whether he's injured or he's been dropped or maybe he's even been sold by Rangers. We know they need the money. They know We know that they're fucking desperate and broke. So maybe they've bit the bullet and sold their cap there. I don't know. But he's not leading Rangers out today. It's Connor Goldson who has that on. And Robbie Nielsen now singing away here. Hopefully he's singing three points to the glorious hearts. Is that what he's singing? I don't know. Hopefully we're singing after the game though and we're not all doom and gloom. The last thing we want here is to taste defeat. Now we've actually got a pretty good record against Rangers this career mode. Uh, first three games of last season we had a win and two draws. The last two games Rangers went on to beat us but they shouldn't have, if we're being honest. I mean, in those two draws that we got, we probably should have at least won one of them. So I'm hoping we can turn that around. But there you go, Rangers then, huddling up, ready for this game. Hadji's back. They've got Lawrence in there. Cholak up front. 
Uh, so it's a solid Rangers team, albeit minus Captain Tav. As for us, we've got injuries to key wingers. Forrest is unavailable. Barry McKay, unavailable. And we're giving a start to Ewan Henderson on the left. So, yeah, big opportunity for Henderson to come in, show us what he's got. And we will see what he's got today. But there's Kian, we know what he's got. Doesn't really produce it all the time, but he is capable of brilliance. And hopefully... <laughs> He doesn't show that brilliance today. But here we go. Rangers then will get us off in this game. It's a good tackle. Straight away, we win the ball. That's exactly the start we wanted. Right, ball it to Josh Ginelli. And he loses it there. So both teams going for it early on. Not allowing any other team, any other player, a chance on the ball. It's out to Hadji now. It's Hadji against Cochrane. It's a, I don't like this. And I don't like it. It's offside though. I think it's Hadji with the goal. Craig Gordon's been beaten, but yeah, the flag has went up. I think it's Tom Lawrence, actually. Oh, yes, I love women in football. Give me more women. Get them at the kitchen and get them onto the pitch. And I think she's got it wrong. It looked on side to me. But uh, Tom Lawrence is not exactly happy. I'm buzzing, though. Still nil nil. Here we go, George Grant. Steps over, turns inside out, finds Josh Ginelli. Ginelli. Cuts inside, finds Henderson, and Henderson right at McLaughlin. What a chance there for we, you and Henderson to get a goal. First goal of the season, it would have been against the Rangers, but no, it hits it straight at John McLaughlin. Right in the middle, like a magnet, just, you know, dragging it in, <laughs> clawing its way into McLaughlin. Should do better, but, you know, it, it was a chance, got in a good position. Henderson on the ball again, looking for Cochrane. Cochrane brings it down, it's Cochrane. Oh, it's Shagland! Oh, and he heads it right at McLaughlin again! What do we have to do? What an opportunity. Great ball by Cochrane. Give him all the credit in the world. He's picked out a fantastic cross there. But we couldn't get the goal. Henderson again. Out to Cochrane. This could be an even better chance we've got. Grant running in. Cochrane's going to try and find him. It's headed away once more. Branch mate runs in. It's... Head up down for Cammy Devlin. Devlin strikes it. Well wide of the target. What a ball that is. It's Alex Cochrane again. Left foot at crossing. Oh, it's good. Uh, McLaughlin, he got something on it. Not enough, though, to get rid of it. And now Shankland makes a good tackle. Shankland finds Henderson again. Henderson going to look for Ginelli. And it's not a great ball. And it will go out for a Rangers goal kick, but... Adam Dufin is down. That's what he gets for being a ginger. He's doing his hole in his leg. And I don't think he will be able to continue. Referee call for a stretcher. And uh, I think Adam Dufin's day is done. He's ran his race here at Ibrox. We'll see the tackle again. Shanklin getting stuck in. Nothing in that. Won the ball. So it's half time at Ibrox and we're giving Rangers a great game. We've actually been really good. As we have been all season. To be fair, we've had three shots, albeit that's not a lot of shots, but it's three more than Rangers. At the moment, they've got zero. We're keeping them very quiet. They're almost asleep. That's how quiet they are. But we all know one goal can change the entire game, and hopefully we're the ones that get it. We cannot afford Rangers away into this thing. We're on the upper hand. We need to keep our foot, though, down on their throat and not release it. Choke them out. Tell they can respond and then, uh, aye, just get the win. Get the goal. Come on. There's somebody in this team that can score. I've got belief. There's a, there's a player wearing a maroon shirt that wants to be a hero today. He needs to stand up in the second half and bang one in. Oh, great save for Craig Gordon. Rangers with a first shot of the game. And Gordon managed to get down low, forces it out for a corner. It's a fantastic save there. He had to get a strong left hand in that or else it would have been in the back of the net there. It was a power strike from, I believe, John Lundstrom. But Craig Gordon, like I said, great save. Got enough behind it, forced it for a corner. But now we need to take care of it. It's taken short. Ginelli is out wide. Rangers now will look to do something. Lawrence is going the wrong way. But he's cut past a few men. Tom Lawrence, it's still Tom Lawrence. He's spun around. And I don't believe it. That is pure shite defending. That is comedy defending at the back for us. We've absolutely fallen apart, man. And we've just allowed Rangers to respond straight away in the second half. And they've done it through Ryan Kent. What an absolute embarrassment that is, man. 
first half dominated second half we, we just allow Lawrence to run past like four or five players he slots it back to Kent who puts it into the fucking top bins Craig Gordon as good as he is cannot make that save not possible doesn't have the fast enough reactions to get something on that and Kent gives Rangers in my opinion a very undeserved lead at Ibrox it's 1-0 here we go George Grant now can we respond it's Grant out to Ginelli. Ginelli back to Grant. Was he onside? Referee, linesman says no. Flag goes up and it denies us an opportunity to equalise. It's Kent. It's Kent. It's dangerous. It's very dangerous. And it's Cholak. It's 2 0. Rangers have just shown that if you don't take your chances against them, if you don't punish them when you're on top, then they will fucking punish you when they get the chances, and that's exactly what they've done to us in this second half. The Rangers fans are going crazy, they're excited, they're happy, and uh, we're also going crazy, but not with excitement, not with happiness. With absolute fucking sadness, man. I cannot believe we're 2 0 down in this game. I really can't. But Rangers now double their lead, extend their lead, and we are in real trouble. Alright, substitution time. Grant, Benenjami and Halkett, who appears to have picked up a little bit of an injury, is going off. We're bringing on Liam Boyce. We're bringing on the goal scorer from the last time, uh, Cammy Smith. And we're also bringing on Kai Rolls. Hopefully, these changes can have a positive impact. To Ginelli, it's a good ball, but he's kind of isolated. Josh Ginelli gets away. Still Josh Ginelli. Behind Shankland is Boyce. Boyce lost it, Tr cannot even dive, trying to get a penalty, trying to get something, gets this absolutely nothing, and now Rangers on the counter again, looking like they could potentially put the game to bed, it's Ryan Kent, good challenge for Kingsley, Atkinson, what we're doing, <laughs> playing dangerous passes here in our own box, right, Kingsley now charging forward, Kingsley to Ginelli, it's Liam Boyce, Boyce to yeah, Cammy Smith, Smith, Fiennes, Shankland, Shankland, back to Devlin, Devlin, Boyce, Ginelli, Shankland again, oh, and he puts it wide, good bit of play, good movement, we, we opened up a chance, we carved open the Rangers back line, but we couldn't get the shot on target, Atkinson, it's Boyce, trying to find Smith, Back to Atkinson, right, come on, Nathaniel, day something, Nathaniel to Ginelli. Oh, and Ginelli's pass is poor, but we get it back. Josh Ginelli looking for back post, Henderson will keep it in. Henderson out to Cammy Devlin, Devlin strikes it. Oh, and it's a goal! And I think it's a mistake for John McLaughlin, the shot looked like it was straight at him. But we will take anything we can get, and that is a way back into the game. It's a it's an okay strike for Devlin, but surely the strike ain't good enough to be a top cinch Premiership goalkeeper. And thankfully for us, John McLaughlin is not a top cinch Premiership goalkeeper. In fact, he's an imposter. He's a pile of shite. He's somebody wearing a piss pink shirt that Rangers can't afford to improve on. It's 2-1. We're right back at it. Atkinson again now. Coming forward. Glenn Camaris trying to catch us, but we're going to stop. We're going to find Boyce. Now Liam Boyce. Oh, and look at that. Yilmaz, man. The guy's just too quick. Caught up on us. It's a good interception, though. Devlin, Smith. Poor for Smith, man. You can't lose it there. Kai Rose wins it back. Finds Ginelli. Ginelli to Boyce. Boyce to Shankland. Getting forced back by Connor Goldson. Oh, it's good for you. Ewan Henderson. Henderson! Oh, and it's saved by McLaughlin, man. Oh, I've been saying how shite he is, but then he makes a big stop there. Is that karma? Karma. It's came back to bite us on the hole, but that would have been a great goal there from Ewan Henderson. Had he got it right, Kingsley. Opportunity begging here. We whip one and it's not a great cross. Corner goals in. First to it. Henderson again now. Oh, another save by John McLaughlin. Right, we're going to bring on Big Keel. Devlin's going off. Keel's coming on. 
And it's going to be Kingsley here. Chance to get this one in. Janelli flicks it on. Shankland! Ah! <laughs> Goal! It's 2-2. Two -two. It's Lauren Shankland. I was saying how bad John McLaughlin is. And he's had a no hour. And look at Shankland doing some of the worst dance moves you've ever seen in your life. There's no way you could pull at night in a nightclub with moves like that. But fuck it, Shankland doesn't need moves because he's got goals. And that's what wins games. That's what gets you checks. And that's what wins titles. John McLaughlin has obviously got fuck all apart from a shitload of butter on his gloves because that's another goal he should be preventing. It is Rangers 2, Hearts 2, and we've equalised. We've still on a point right in the last few minutes. Referee then has given a free kick to Rangers, a.k.a. given Rangers a lifeline, because we were away there. We were on there. Four minutes of added on time, man. No, they obviously want Rangers to win at Ibrox. It is uh, Geo Fan Broncos time, man. Next thing you're going to hear, penalty to Rangers, right? Shankland. Shankland trying to pick it. Oh, my God, Shankland, what a ball that is. Smith jumps. Oh, but McLaughlin was there. McLaughlin came out and actually caught the ball for once. He didn't drop it. He didn't parry it away. He has caught the ball, and that could be our chance going. Rangers now. Cholak. Oh, good for Kai Rolls. We need to get this forward, though. We need to do something, Shankland. Shankland. Oh, he should lose it out, and that's it. It's a draw. It's 2-2. Two -two. I'll take it. You know, 2-0 down. Not long. I think we have 11 minutes to go. I will take the draw all day long. Still think we edged the game. I think, I think we deserve to win the game. I mean, with eight shots to their three. But I will take a draw all day long. When you're 2-0 down with 11 minutes to go against Rangers at Ibrox, you would be absolutely mental not to take the draw. And I'm just glad that John McLaughlin has proven that, albeit he was once at Hearts, I think his heart is still at Hearts because he gave us the assist for both goals. If we're being perfectly honest, as good as we played, as much as I think we deserved the result from that, if it wasn't for John McLaughlin, I don't think we'd get anything out that game. So I will be sending... John McLaughlin, a Christmas card this season. You can guarantee. I won't be putting any money in it. Don't get me wrong. Don't think he deserves any money. If anything, Rangers need the money so they can replace him. But yeah, no, I mean, he'll get a Christmas card 100%. Uh, I don't want to see Lauren Shankland's dance. Maybe we'll send uh, Shankland a, a Christmas card with money in it and he can get himself some uh, dancing lessons because that goal celebration certainly wasn't something I want to see. I want to see goals. I just don't really want to see him celebrating them, but... We'll have a look now where we are in the league table. I know it's only a draw, but I feel like the fact that Rangers didn't gain three points on us is absolutely massive. It only gets us a point, but it feels, in my opinion, a lot more than that. And as we look at the league table, you can see now that we are still in seventh place. That is three match days in a row now where we just haven't moved from seventh. So it's a bit weird. But at the top, you can see Rangers then on ten points. We are on five. I think we've had a pretty difficult start this season, and I do expect us to start picking up points. So, I mean, I'm so glad that we didn't lose that game. Uh, we're still within touching distance. You know, one win could put us up as high as uh, third place. So, there's no reason at all for us to panic. We're having a good season in terms of performances. I believe if we keep those performances going, the results will turn up. They'll start coming 100%. So here we go then, the Wigan manager has joined us, he's arrived at Hearts, we've even made him a cup of coffee as we try and secure the signature of Stephen Humphreys. Now he is valued at around 1.3 million, how much are we going to offer? Um, wait a sec, what if we offered, we can't even offer loan, okay I was going to say what if we offered a loan, we're going to go, let's see. Why don't we just go straight million? I think that's fair. I'm going to go a straight million. We'll see what they say. A million pound for Humphreys, I think, is pretty reasonable. Uh, you're definitely going to have to move. Okay, so they want they want one million. Oh, no, that's, that's quite a lot. I don't know if we can afford to do what they want. Let's remove the sell-on fee. Uh, propose a new transfer fee. I'm going to offer his market value. And only his market value. I think I'm being fair. Let's see how fair Wigan are. Will they accept? They want one and a half. They want one and a half. 
Hmm, I don't know. I do not know. Do we accept it or do we not? Okay, I'll tell you what I'll do, guys. I cannot say fairer than this. I'm going to accept it for now. We're going to leave it here. I'll put a poll up and I'll ask you, do you want me to spend 1.5 million on bringing Stephen Humphreys to the club? If the majority says yes, I will try and agree a contract with him. If the majority says no, then I will not pursue contract negotiations with Stephen Humphreys. So there you go. We will accept it. And that is it. I'll put a poll up. If you guys want Stephen Humphreys back at Hearts, then vote yes. If you do not want him back at Hearts, then you know what to do. Vote no. It really is that simple. And we will find out in the next episode whether or not Stephen Humphreys is going to be a heart of Midlobian player but talking about the next episode let's have a look and see what the next episode has in store for us so we have ross county of course on the 26th that should be pretty good game uh then we have the transfer deadline day and then it is celtic so i mean massive episode massive we've got ross county a game that i think we must win uh just to try and stay near the top of the table then we have the transfer window who will be coming into the club? Who will be leaving the club? And then it's another trip to Glasgow to take on the other ugly sister. We picked up a point against one of them. We beat them good looking. Can we do it to the other, the green sister to Glasgow? We'll try. We will try our best, guys. But that's going to do it. Leave a like. Leave a comment. Subscribe if you haven't. And remember, Stephen Humphrey's fate. His future lies in your hands. So get voting in the community section on the channel whether you want him to be a Hearts player or whether you don't. That's quite it. I will catch you in the next one. Looking forward to tanking Celtic. It's a dream. Hopefully we can make it come through. I'll catch you later. Peace.